Good afternoon. The spring meeting of Alpha of New Hampshire Phi Beta Kappa will come to order. The chapter is assembled primarily for the purpose of receiving into our society certain persons who, having been invited by us, desire to be admitted to such membership. It is a particular pleasure on this occasion for me to greet and welcome as our guests, family and friends of these new members. Normally we would hold this ceremony in Spalding Auditorium, but of course that is not possible this year. Still, my colleagues and I feel it is important to recognize and celebrate your, your accomplishments, even if only in a virtual manner. We always wear academic regalia at the ceremony, which explains my attire today as I make this recording. Please let me reassure you that even though professors are an eccentric lot, we don't normally lounge around the house dressed like this. This gown is a sign of respect and admiration. As this is a gathering of an ongoing organization, it is traditional at this ceremony to call for a reading of the minutes of our prior meeting, which occurred October 22nd, 2019. Under the current circumstances in which I am recording this on my own, I am going to make an executive decision and call for a motion to dispense with the reading of those minutes. So moved. Do I hear a second to the motion? Second. Hearing no objection, we will dispense with the reading of the minutes. Before proceeding with the initiation of seniors and others, I should like now to recognize the 21 men and women whose names appear within the agenda for this meeting who were elected to membership at our autumn meeting on October 22nd, 2019, as a result of scholastic attainment through the junior year of their undergraduate course. Let us continue. Madam Secretary, are there candidates for election to be brought before this meeting? Yes, Mr. President, and acting on behalf of the chapter, I place in nomination and ask the election of the persons whose names are entered on the agenda for this meeting as distributed to those in attendance. Are there any objections? Hearing no objections, the, the motion is approved unanimously. The election of those persons whose names appear on the reverse side of the agenda has been moved, seconded, and unanimously approved. Now that you new inductees have been elected to membership, I believe a formal welcome is appropriate. Before proceeding further, however, allow me to note that the Dartmouth chapter, Alpha of New Hampshire, is the fourth oldest chapter in Phi Beta Kappa and was founded in 1787. Consequently, the language and the ritual that follows may strike you as a bit archaic. Of the three principles, fraternity, morality, and literature, it might be useful to know that literature was used in the 18th century to mean knowledge, and then to regard fraternity as companionship in the pursuit of knowledge. Thus, having assembled for the purpose of receiving you into the membership of Phi Beta Kappa and its Alpha of New Hampshire, the chapter welcomes each of you most heartily. In order that you may know more of the character and underlying principles of Phi Beta Kappa, I again call upon our secretary, Kate Sewell, to share with you the categories of membership from our constitution. Madam Secretary. There shall be three classes of members, regular, alumni, and honorary. The following persons are eligible for regular membership. Any undergraduate who on October 15th of the fall term, three years after matriculation, has completed at least eight terms at Dartmouth College, and who ranks among the 20 highest in that category. Any student who, at the time of graduation from Dartmouth College, has an average standing no lower than the average of that achieved by graduates within the top 10th of those graduating in the preceding three academic years. No student who has been suspended from Dartmouth College is eligible for membership in Phi Beta Kappa. An alumnus or alumna of Dartmouth College whose work since graduation shall be deemed of such a character as to entitle him or her to membership may be elected to alumni membership. Any person distinguished in letters, science, or education may be elected to honorary membership. And all honorary members shall be entitled to all of the rights and privileges of regular membership. In addition to scholarship, Good moral character shall be a necessary qualification for membership, 
and any member who is found to have lost this qualification may be expelled from the society by a four-fifths vote of members present and voting at an annual meeting of the chapter, provided there be at least 30 members present at such a meeting. Your election is in recognition of your outstanding attainments in scholarly pursuits and of your manifestation of high character and of deep interest in the life of this college. With these records and attainments in view, you are now offered membership in this chapter of Phi Beta Kappa and admission to the fraternity's ever widening circle. Before giving your pledge of loyalty, it is proper that you be informed more fully with respect to Phi Beta Kappa's history, ideals, and purpose. I now call on Vice President of our chapter, Professor Susanna Heschel, to give a summary of the Society's history. On December 5th, 1776, a group of young men, students of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, met in the Apollo Room of the Raleigh Tavern in Williamsburg, Virginia, to form the Phi Beta Kappa Society. As described on the Phi Beta Kappa website, they believed that a new nation, required new institutions, cultural as well as political, and they were committed to intellectual fellowship shaped by the values of personal freedom, scientific inquiry, liberty of conscience, and creative endeavor. During those turbulent times of the Revolutionary War, they envisioned Phi Beta Kappa as a secret society that would give its members the freedom to discuss any topic they chose. Ever since, Freedom of inquiry and expression have served as hallmarks of Phi Beta Kappa, though starting in the 1830s, the requirement of secrecy ended. In the Phi Beta Kappa handbook, you will find a brief account of the early days of the society in Virginia and of the fortunate creation of New England branches at Yale in 1780, Harvard in 1781, and Dartmouth in 1787 which ensured the perpetuation and propagation of the society when the parent chapter in Virginia became inactive. In an address on the history of the New Hampshire Alpha, delivered at the bicentennial meeting of this chapter in 1987, Dartmouth historian, Professor Jerry Danielle, noticed that during the 1830s, students were turning away from the pursuit of intellectual accomplishment. And there was, he said, a gradual decline of debating in the social clubs, a corresponding rise in the kinds of behavior we associate with fraternities today, and the appearance on the campus of competing Greek letter groups who made no pretense of intellectual accomplishment. To maintain the high standards of Phi Beta Kappa, Faculty members of the Alpha Chapter at Dartmouth voted in 1845 in what Professor Danielle termed a small coup d'etat to make outstanding scholarship the primary criterion for selection. Their vote held despite opposition from the undergraduate members and was put into effect in the chapter's 1899 constitution. Exceptional scholarship is the sole criterion for membership in Phi Beta Kappa. In 1914, Dartmouth College formally recognized Phi Beta Kappa as an honor society, which is why your induction into Phi Beta Kappa is noted on your transcript. The New England chapters led the way in the 1870s by including women and African Americans as members. In 1883, Phi Beta Kappa became a national organization with 25 chapters around the country. Phi Beta Kappa continues to grow, and today there are 290 chapters at American colleges and universities, and nearly 50 active alumni associations located in all regions of the country. Phi Beta Kappa is America's most prestigious academic honor society and a national advocate for the arts and sciences. Its members include 17 United States presidents, 41 Supreme Court justices, and more than 140 Nobel Prize laureates. To be inducted into membership of Phi Beta Kappa is a supreme honor and a tribute to academic achievement at the highest level. 
I would also like to draw your attention to the Phi Beta Kappa Chi, the symbol of the Phi Beta Kappa Society. The Phi Beta Kappa Chi of today bears the insignia of the medal adopted December 5th, 1776. The three Greek letters, Phi, Beta, Kappa, are the initials of the Greek motto, Philosophia Biu Kubernetes, which is interpreted to mean, love of wisdom is the governor of life. The three stars indicate the three fundamental principles of the society, fraternity, morality, and literature, and the index pointing to the stars indicates the high aspirations of the members. On the reverse, the letters SP are the initials of the Latin words Societas Philosophia, which are in harmony with the Greek motto on the obverse. Above these initials, the name and chapter of the wearer may be engraved. The date, December 5th, 1776, was engraved on the earliest medals and indicates the time of the society's formal organization at the Raleigh Tavern in Williamsburg, Virginia. A 1963 brochure on the history of the Phi Beta Kappa Chi uncovers the answer to why what was originally called a badge has become a key. The original badge devised by the chapter at the College of William and Mary was four square, with only a ring at the top to hang from a chain but it was apparently an innovation at the Yale chapter around 1806 that added both an upper stem and what the brochure calls a low, lower ferrule. When first added, you see, that ferrule was iron, square in shape with a hollow end, and it was designed to be a key to wind up a watch. Soon enough, of course, as watches changed, the lower ferrule became solid gold and the key became symbolic, though of what is rarely said. All wearers of the key are thus assured that they belong to one of the oldest college organizations in this country and the oldest society formed for the encouragement of scholarship and the union of those engaged in scholarly pursuits. Now that you have been informed of the history and symbolism of our society, the formal initiation can begin. Here is the part of the ceremony where we are going to attempt to allow each inductee to participate in this virtual environment. You will shortly be given the opportunity to make an affirmation in the chat. When I direct everyone to make this affirmation, please comment in the chat with your name, major, location, and the words, I do. Kate Sewell will provide an example in the chat. You have heard statements respecting Phi Beta Kappa, its principles and purposes. I now ask you, in words first employed in 1779 and therefore venerable in the usages of our society, to affirm the following, that you will, with all your possible efforts, endeavor to prove true, just, and deeply attached to this, our growing society. And in addition to this ancient pledge, do you affirm that in all your relations you will adhere to the principles of the philosophy which its founders accepted as the inspiration of life, namely fraternity, morality, and literature, that you will earnestly aid the society in every appropriate way to attain its educational ideals as set forth by the United Chapters. We will now play a compilation video honoring our inductees. While it plays, please affirm in the chat. Gunal Kish, thank you. What a great way to end my time at Dartmouth. All the Friday and Saturday nights on 3FB paid off. It's an honor to be inducted into Phi Beta Kappa. Go Big Green! Dartmouth, to me, has always been defined by its community, and now I'm incredibly excited to be a part of the Phi Beta Kappa community as well. I'm incredibly grateful for everything Dartmouth has taught me and the relationships I've formed over these past four years. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Butte. I had an awesome Dartmouth experience. I'm going to miss it a lot, but I'm sure I'm going to be back plenty of times. And I'm also very excited to be inducted into Phi Beta Kappa. Congratulations, Phi Beta Kappa inductees. Wishing you all of my very best. I'm so honored to be inducted. Congratulations, everyone. It's an honor to be inducted. It's something that I'll always be proud of. Dharma 
Life was an amazing intellectual experience, and I'm thrilled to be joining the college's chapter of Phi Beta Kappa. Thank you, Dartmouth. My Dartmouth experience has really been all about the incredible professors and classmates who have taught me so much. Thank you, Dartmouth, for four truly transformative years. I just want to thank all my peers and advisors who helped me out during my Dartmouth experience. Congratulations, we did it. I'm honored to be graduating from Dartmouth, and Phi Beta Kappa is the icing on the cake. Honored to join and relieved that senior spring was pass fail. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Kusud, and I want to say thank you for inducting me to Phi Beta Kappa. Congrats to the class of 2020. You made it. I am extremely grateful for the wonderful education I've received at Dartmouth and all of the amazing memories and friends that I've made here. I really enjoyed my time at Dartmouth. Thank you Dartmouth for an amazing four years and congratulations to the class of 2020. Hey, it's Rachel. I'm so excited to be inducted into Phi Beta Kappa. What a great way to round out my Dartmouth experience. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia McLaren. I'm double majoring in government and English with a concentration in creative writing, modified with psychology, and I'm so excited and honored to be a new member of Phi Beta Kappa. Thank you. I'm so honored to be a member of this group. Being inducted is a really exciting way to finish off my amazing Dartmouth experience. Thank you Dartmouth for the happy challenges and lifelong friendships. Congratulations to all my fellow 20s. <laughs> Thank you to the Dartmouth Theater Department for their continuous support during my Dartmouth career and beyond. I'm really thankful to Dartmouth for being such a great support system, almost as positive as this one. I'm so honored and so grateful and so proud of the class of 2020. To the faculty, thank you for your passionate expertise. To my classmates, thank you for your enthusiasm and drive. I can't wait to see where you'll end up. Hi, I'm Eric Stolt. 
I'm proud and honored to be a Phi Beta Kappa inductee. Go Big Green. I'm so thankful I was able to explore so many diverse and fascinating subjects during my time at Dartmouth. Filming this from the inside of a car to say that people are going places after graduation, but congrats on getting into Phi Beta Kappa. I wanted to thank my parents, professors, and friends for helping me become the person I am today. I couldn't have done it without you. Recognizing as we do the talent and worth which you have evinced, I now greet you as full members of Phi Beta Kappa, being well assured that it will be your ambition to maintain and perpetuate the traditions and principles of this ancient and honorable society. May you ever seek to promote fraternity, morality, and literature. I have the further pleasure of introducing you to your new associates here present and of admitting you to the goodly fellowship of members who, for 244 years, 233 years for our chapter of constant and consistent endeavor have made notable the name of Phi Beta Kappa. I shall conclude the charge in the words of the ritual of 1779. You all at this moment experience in yourselves the heartfelt satisfaction which I do at this, our valuable acquisition. Friendship herself, pleased with her success, now smiles at this addition to our fraternity. Let it be our joint care to extend the friendship which has ever been exercised by this society to these new members, that they may hereafter become veterans in her service. All whom we have installed this afternoon are now duly enrolled as full members of the Alpha of New Hampshire and Phi Beta of Kappa. It will be their right and privilege henceforth to participate with us and with all the society's goodly host of members in all of the appropriate activities of our organization. This college is and should be dedicated first and foremost to the life of the mind. Phi Beta Kappa is a most tangible recognition that all of you join us in this commitment. The only new items of business today are as follows. Our secretary, Kate Sewell, will now display an example of the Phi Beta Kappa certificate which she has hand lettered for each of you. Your certificate, along with new member materials and a length of pink and blue ribbon, will be sent to the address on file with the registrar's office. Should you wish her to send it to another address, please email at either of the addresses in the chat before June 23rd. The pink and blue ribbons are suitable for framing with your certificate or to be used as a bookmark. The pink and blue ribbon were designed especially for the Alpha of New Hampshire at Dartmouth to reflect the official colors of Phi Beta Kappa established in 1781 on the charter to Harvard College and in 1787 on the charter to Dartmouth College. Kate also has a few remarks before we adjourn. Your induction today can be just the beginning of involvement with Phi Beta Kappa. One way to get involved is through a local Phi Beta Kappa association. Organizations of PBK members located in many metropolitan areas, including Boston and New York. Through Phi Beta Kappa associations, members can network, attend cultural events, join a book pub, give back through community service, and engage in the spirit of learning for all of life. Please look for an announcement from Phi Beta Kappa about a key connections event that will be coming up in September through associations. If there's not an association in your area, you can stay connected on social media. Join the PBK LinkedIn group of over 30,000 members and follow Phi Beta Kappa on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Visit pbk.org website for online lectures and events. The Society's National Arts and Sciences Initiative provides an outlet for those seeking to get more involved in advocacy. Wherever you go, we hope you will stay connected with the Society, so be sure to keep the National Office up to date as you change addresses and emails. Thank you. 
Before we finish, I have a short video for you about the Phi Beta Kappa secret handshake. Hi, I'm Fred Lawrence, Secretary and CEO of the Phi Beta Kappa Society. Congratulations on your election to Phi Beta Kappa. If no one has shown you the secret handshake yet, it's my pleasure to do so now. The secret handshake actually goes back centuries to when we really were a secret society, and the symbol when two members pass each other on the street was to take these two fingers, draw them across the mouth to say our lips are sealed. Well, our lips aren't sealed anymore. We want the whole world to know you're a member of Phi Beta Kappa, but when two members meet, it's those same two fingers clasped, and that's the secret handshake. I really look forward someday, and hopefully very, very soon, to meet all of you in person and to be able to share a proper Phi Beta Kappa greeting. Congratulations and welcome to the Phi Beta Kappa family. I admit, I earned, learned it slightly differently with the other fingers curled under during the grasp, more as follows. But in an organization over 200 years old, there are bound to be variations. As I am not conscious of the desire for other new business to come before this session, I will accordingly entertain a motion of adjournment at this time. So moved. Hearing no objections to the motion, I declare this meeting of Alpha of New Hampshire Phi Beta Kappa duly adjourned. Thank you for all for your attendance, and please accept my warmest congratulations to you and to your family.